What's going on everybody, LK here, back at it again with another video, and today some more Dragon Ball Fighters for y'all. So today I'm going to talk about a topic that uh, I've definitely mentioned in a ton of other videos, but I've never actually put into a video, and I'm 100% sure that uh, this is probably like one of the best ways to describe Wawa's playstyle, and why it feels like that he plays a bunch of seemingly random teams. This is of course... The concept of the core character in Dragon Ball Fighters. Every fighting game has this, but it's a pretty important part of Dragon Ball Fighters. If you guys like all the match analysis, guides, and everything else I've been uploading to this channel, definitely consider liking this video or subscribe to the channel if you already have not. It does help the channel grow, and I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. So as a quick history lesson, Europe was not too big of a force in Dragon Ball Fighter Season 1, but in Dragon Ball Fighter Season 2, players like Shanks and Wawa, among other players, exploded onto the scene with their unique character choices, unique team builds, and one of the main ones is this character here, Base Goku, who, on release, he... saying his lackluster is not even close to describing how bland he was as a character, but in Season 2 they gave him a bunch of powerful changes that were mostly overlooked in Tawawa v Kazunoko back in, I believe it was Versus Fighting 2019. And the other thing people found really fascinating about him as well is how he's able to seemingly switch teams constantly with a bunch of combinations of characters. Vegito and Cell, Adult Gohan and Base Goku, all these type of weird combinations. Some of these are a little bit more common now, like the last one I just mentioned, but recently we've seen him play Vegito and Tien together with Gogeta, and people are just like, wow, Wawa just makes up teams. But this actually is not true. Synergy aside, Wawa is probably the best player at playing the core Dragon Ball character. In most fighting games, uh, especially because of smaller rosters and like one vs one games These are usually only a handful of characters that just show what the game is Generally about and what the devs are trying to focus the game around but Dragon Ball of Fighters is a three vs three game So there are way more characters which means there are way more characters that fall into this core group So first then let's talk about what the core type of character in Dragon Ball Fighters is the characters are pretty easy to play. Either they don't have a special gimmick at all, or they have maybe one move to differentiate them straight up. So SSJ Goku is quite literally the most basic character this game has. He has a very standard moveset. The move that basically makes him stand out is his beam, Kamehameha, and how you can point it downward. And all his strong points are things that the game really wants to put an emphasis on. And this is mainly things like discouraging movement using key blasts, uh, conditioning people on offense with safe normals, and of course getting a big return if you get a hit. Even if we take a character like base Goku aside, because some, some people, some people might say that a character like SSJ Goku has no mix, but if they give the character a tool for mix-up, it's usually the Dragon Ball style of mix-up where the opponent who's defending gets a chance to do something, but if they respect you, then you could enforce this type of guessing game. So obviously for base Goku, he has a command grab. Another pretty important point is that these characters generally all have the same basic combos. If you learn one combo in Dragon Ball Fighters, you can go very far with a lot of the cast. You might remember it, it's the good old buttons into launch, into sliding knockdown. Now of course the main thing is, these combos don't do that much damage and uh, there was a pretty big change in Season 2 where they gave characters a lot of things so that they could extend combos on their own and not need assists. You might remember combos like this with Bardock for example, where instead of doing the launcher, you could dive and do this air dash kind of loop extension into a hard knockdown with the mixer. So because the characters are generally pretty simple, they tend to, again, stand out only with like one move in neutral really. So a vast majority of the Saiyan characters and popular characters all fall into this group. In my opinion, from left to right on the character select screen, uh, characters like Gogeta, GT Goku, UI Goku, Base Goku, Tien, Bardock, Vegito, Blue Goku, Adult Gohan, Krillin, SSJ Goku, SSJ Vegeta, Teen Gohan, Cell, Goku Black, and Kefla all fall into this group. The rest of the characters either are 
similar to this group of characters, but they have way more things locked behind uh, kind of technical new additions. A uh, character like Gotenks falls into this where you could pick him up really quickly, but you won't learn his more advanced stuff like how to control ghosts well, all the various different types of hit confirms that he can do and optimizations that he can do uh, until much later. Or they straight up have special attributes like Android 21 stealing certain aspects of the character to power her up, Ginyu summoning the Ginyu force and having his whole offense and neutral being built around that, Kid Buu's unique screen control, Jiren's unique defensive kind of play style that he has, etc. So characters I mentioned like say Bardock they all play really really similarly but emphasis are placed on different parts of the character. So let's look at two teams that I've seen him use in tournaments as an example. So on the right side I have a team that he's been using recently. He used this against Shanks in the first to five when they showed off Baby and on the left side I have a team that he used a bunch in season two. As a side note this is basically the only time you'll see me pick adult Gohan ever so <laughs> you guys better enjoy this. GT Goku is a character that has more emphasis placed on his mobility. So he doesn't have a Ki Blast, but he does have beams angled and he can control them. And he has moves to travel across the screen, like the EX Tackle and the EX Orb. This combined with assist gives him pretty easy ways to approach. So in his case, they went really hard on the mobility. He's also really small, but he can't really discourage reckless movement with Key Blast because he doesn't have one. Here we have my favorite character in this game, Adult Gohan, and he also, similar to GT Goku, has a little emphasis placed on movement, but he also has some extra emphasis placed on conditioning and his ability to mix you up. So he's very mobile because of his air legs and this beats Super Dash. After leveling up, he gets access to more auto combo moves than other characters. As far as neutral control, he doesn't have as much of an emphasis on it, mostly because his ground 5S is not a key boss that goes full screen, but he does have the air jump S that, combined with an assist, controls a lot of the screen. Base Goku is, funny enough, based on SSJ Goku, so he plays a really similar game with an emphasis on controlling the screen, trying to stop reckless movement, and has a lot of the same general tools as SSJ Goku, but instead of the Tatsu, the two hit spinning kick, he has this tackle move that he can use as a lunge for a little bit of horizontal air mobility. And where his Super Saiyan version generally has problems opening people up in the corner without heavy heavy conditioning, uh, your opponent has to worry about this basically instant command grab. Now on the player 2 side, Gogeta has no Key Blast at all. He has a beam instead of a Key Blast. So he is another character that has a huge emphasis on mobility, but the way they do it is with very large normals and fast full screen traveling moves. Vegito is actually similar to Gogeta in concept in that he has very huge traveling moves, especially in the air. But they also made it so that he can control some pretty unique angles that other characters can't with moves like JS and 2S. And where he doesn't have a normal ground key blast, he has this amazing 236S that clears the entire screen. Tian is also quite similar to SSJ Goku. Instead of having a multi-firing key blast though, he has a single one that he can fire. And outside of doing a ton of damage because of uh, how his supers work, he also has a couple of unique ways of controlling the screen compared to other characters, but they only gave him this recently. And this is ma mainly how his beam works now. Now it carries momentum. You can make him stop by tapping down at any time, which creates a pretty unique guessing game when he's moving around the screen. So of course, these are just examples. Again, there are way more characters that fall into this group as I listed before. And I find this to basically be the reason why he's able to switch characters so freely. Because for the most part, he plays characters in this group. Of course, he's just an amazing player of the game as well. Really amazing at combos. He's really amazing at a bunch of other stuff. But this is a really, really big factor into him as a player compared to other players. There are many people who try like, oh, I'll have a fourth character for a specific matchup, kind of like having a, a side deck and a trading card game or something. And in my opinion, basically Wawa is one of the only people who've ever pulled this off successfully. Hopefully that made sense though. Uh, this is a big part of any fighting game like I mentioned before, but it's an especially large part of Dragon Ball. And it makes sense too. You want characters like 
Goku and Vegeta to be accessible to people. You don't want to lock it behind like especially difficult combos or some mechanic that you have to manage that's hard. Some people are really just trying to sweep a dash in, call the enemy, and then just press some buttons. Again too, the thing about combos being the same-ish was a big deal in Season 1, but they really did do a good job in Season 2 and Season 3 in diversifying the characters this way. But everyone having the same BNB is not so bad. In Street Fighter, when you don't know how to play a character, you just do button special move too. No one says anything about that game having really samey, homogenous combos. So that being said, this is supposed to be a combo game, so I get it, but hey. It's a really nice thing for people who are picking up the game in my opinion and I never have a complaint about it in general. As usual, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you feel like it and I'll see you next time. Peace out.